The barnacle goose Brantaleucopsis is a species of goose that belongs to the genus Branta of black geese, which contains species with largely black plumage, distinguishing them from the grey anser species. Despite its superficial similarity to the brant goose, genetic analysis has shown it is an eastern derivative of the cackling goose lineage. The barnacle goose was first classified taxonomically by Johann Matthaus Bechstein in 1803. Branto is a Latinized form of Old Norse Brandgus burnt black goose, and the specific epithet is from the ancient Greek Leucos white and Opsis face. The barnacle goose and the similar Brandt goose were previously considered one species and were formerly believed to spawn from the goose barnacle. This gave rise to the English name of the barnacle goose and the scientific name of the Brandt. It is sometimes claimed that the word comes from a Celtic word for limpet. But the sense history seems to go in the opposite direction. The barnacle myth can be dated back to at least the 12th century. Gerald of Wales claimed to have seen these birds hanging down from pieces of timber. William Turner accepted the theory, and John Gerard claimed to have seen the birds emerging from their shells. The legend persisted until the end of the 18th century. In County Kerry until relatively recently Catholics abstaining from meat during Lent could still eat this bird, because it was considered as fish. Barnacle geese frequently build their nests high on mountain cliffs away from predators primarily arctic foxes and polar bears, but also away from their feeding grounds such as lakes, rivers. Like all geese, the goslings are not fed by the adults. Instead of bringing food to the newly hatched goslings, the goslings are brought to the ground. The parents show them the way to jump from the cliff, and the goslings follow them by instincts and take the plunge. Unable to fly, the goslings in their first days of life jump off the cliff and fall their small size feathery down and very lightweight helps to protect some of them from serious injury when they hit the rocks below, but many die from the impact. Arctic foxes are attracted by the noise made by the parent geese during this time and capture many dead or injured goslings. The foxes also stalk the young as they are led by the parents to wetland feeding areas 11. Due to these hardships, only 50% of the chicks survived the first month. The natural history of the barnacle goose was long surrounded with a legend claiming that they were born of driftwood. Nature produces banaca against nature in the most extraordinary way. They are like marsh geese, but somewhat smaller. They are produced from fir timber tossed along the sea, and are at first like gum. Afterwards they hang down by their beaks as if they were a seaweed attached to the timber, and are surrounded by shells in order to grow more freely. Having thus in process of time been clothed with a strong coat of feathers, they either fall into the water or fly freely away into the air. They derive their food and growth from the sap of the wood, or from the sea by a secret and most wonderful process of alimentation. I have frequently seen with my own eyes, more than a thousand of these small bodies of birds hanging down on the seashore from one piece of timber enclosed in their shells and already formed. They do not breed and lay eggs like other birds nor do they ever hatch any eggs nor do they seem to build nests in any corner of the earth. 15. The legend was widely repeated in, for example, Vincent of Beauvais' Great Encyclopedia. However, it was also criticized by other medieval authors including Albertus Magnus. This belief may be related to the fact that these geese were never seen in summer. When they were supposedly developing underwater, they were actually breeding in remote Arctic regions in the form of barnacles, which came to have the name barnacle because of this legend. Based on these legends, indeed, the legends may have been invented for this purpose. 17. Some Irish clerics considered barnacle goose flesh to be acceptable for fast-day food, a practice that was criticized by Geraldo Cambrensis, a Welsh author. Bishops and religious men free religiosi in some parts of Ireland do not scruple to dine off these birds at the time of fasting, because they are not flesh nor born of flesh. But in so doing, they are led into sin. 
For if anyone were to eat of the leg of our first parent Adam, although he was not born of flesh that person could not be adjudged innocent of eating meat. 80 The fourth council of the Lateran 1215, Pope Innocent III explicitly prohibited the eating of these beasts during Lent, arguing that despite their unusual reproduction, they lived and fed like ducks and so were of the same nature as other birds. The question of the nature of barnacle geese also came up as a matter of Jewish dietary law in the Halakha. And Rabbi Tam 1100 to 71 determined that they were kosher even if born of trees and should be slaughtered following the normal prescriptions for birds. In one Jewish legend, the barnacle goose is purported to have its beak forever attached to the tree from which it grew just as the Eden Seda is fixed to the earth by its navel cord 19 the mythical barnacle tree, believed in the Middle Ages to have barnacles that open to reveal geese, may have a similar origin to the other legends already mentioned.